Enceladus, my home, a tiny jewel of the solar system. At the dawn of the 190th century, the children of mankind remain divided. Endless wars are fought within the solar system that birthed humanity, pitting world against world. The reasons for conflict are lost to history, but it continues nonetheless. Desperate for any advantage, the children of man play God, creating genetically modified soldiers to fight on their behalf. They call us angels. I was told that I wouldn't dream when I entered the angelic womb, that I wouldn't feel a thing while I underwent my metamorphosis. But I did feel something. I felt space, emptiness, the void between the stars. I drifted through the void into nothingness. It must have been a dream. And just as fast as it began, it ended. Did a minute pass? Or a hundred years? I can't tell. I woke up with a single thought. A thought that consumes my mind. Break through the light. Break free. It feels primordial. Something I can't control. My hands reach out into the light. I can feel the cold air from the outside. I'm born for the second time. Angel, are you awake? She called me Angel. That must mean my metamorphosis was a success, right? Do you remember where you are? I'm at the metamorphosis facility in the chapel. It's an android. It's good to know that you're not disoriented. You are aware that angels like you are awakened only when there's a threat to Enceladus. We don't want to waste your sacrifice on anything less. Your life is too precious. Is Enceladus being attacked? What are we waiting for then? Tell me, I don't want to waste any more time. Please, calm down. Androids are here to protect us, but they're also here to make sure we follow orders. We're not being attacked, but we're not entirely secure either. Rather than going into battle, we awakened you to negotiate. Negotiate? I don't understand. Surely I didn't undergo the metamorphosis just to talk. Unfortunately, there has been an incident. Your awakening was planned. We triggered your instincts, and you hatched. The chapel awaited you. But that can't be said about... her. Her? One of your kind has... awakened differently. Spontaneously. On her own. Her name is Ashley. She woke up due to an error. A malfunction. She panicked and fled the facility. An angel on the run? She's out there, in the wild. Confused and alone. Dangerous. We need you to make her come back. With force, if necessary. An angel who's not under the chapel's control is a serious threat. Why me? There's no one more powerful than an angel. So you awakened me not because of an external threat, but because one of us woke up on their own and is no longer under your control. What will happen to her once I bring her back? She'll be put back to sleep. You too. We already hatched. Will our eggs be restored? We were told that once we wake up that we can't be put back to sleep. Many things have changed since you went to sleep. You've been asleep for longer than you might think. So there is a way now. Ashley's only hope for survival is that you bring her back. Your only hope is to come back in one piece as well, of course. Bullet that returns to the barrel. That's how this sounds. We were once human, 
but we underwent a metamorphosis that gave us special abilities. We are expected to use those abilities against forces that would attack our world. Our sole purpose is to fight for the sake of others. Our ancestors prepared this world for us thousands of years ago. Titans of their epic. They expanded far beyond Earth. They terraformed many of Jupiter and Saturn's moons. But this expansion only divided people further. There are too many worlds now that believe they have the right to rule over the solar system. Enceladus, a tiny moon housing a small metropolis, was able to remain independent because of beings like me. He's coming. I can hear her. The other angel. Her thoughts, or rather a whisper of words in the distance. What should I do? Full of despair. I can't really recognize what she's saying. Just the tone of her voice. Is she also hearing my thoughts? And if so, are they also a distant whisper? Or are they clear to her? This is what we went through before going to sleep and undergoing metamorphosis. It's the thread that connects all angels. The thread that unites us. It's her. There's no doubt about it. Staring at me with those dark eyes. What is she waiting for? And what is she doing here? All those frightened people all around? It's so bizarre. Are you real? I guess you are. I wasn't sure for a moment. Everything feels so dreamy after you wake up. You're refreshed, colors are so vibrant, and you can somehow feel all this space. You feel everything around you, like it's made out of clay. Isn't that why we underwent the metamorphosis? To have the strength to defend Enceladus against any attack. It's an honor to be chosen, and a huge responsibility. The ones who've already woken, we're so lucky to fight for Enceladus. But soon now, I'll be lucky too. I'm sacrificing myself too, ain't I? Did you suddenly wake up too? Should I lie to her? Or should I tell her the truth about why I'm here? Suddenly wake up? No. My awakening was intentional. They woke me up. Then that means you're in a mission. An angel isn't woken up unless there's a threat to Enceladus. I... wasn't that lucky with my awakening. Why did they wake you up? They woke me up to get you back to the chapel. No! That can't be! That means they sacrificed you! Because of me? Did they? You fled the facility. You're dangerous out here. And they can't retrieve you themselves. You're too strong. Guards tried to stop me. They used force. What should I have done? Should I have just stood there and let them shoot me? I expected something else. Like every angel. I was supposed to fight for Enceladus, not be assaulted. But the fact that they awaken you... They couldn't come after me themselves, could they? It doesn't matter now, does it? I'm here. I'm here, and my mission is to bring you home. Home? You mean the chapel, don't you? Surprised? How could you have expected anything else when your goal was to take me back, whether I wanted to or not? The chapel was right. She is a threat. I can't let her cause any more damage. Ashley, stop! 
Why? Why should I? Do you expect me to just surrender? I'm not going to let you take me against my will. Look at what you're doing! Well, maybe I'm just giving reason to our awakening. Maybe my reason for living is to not be caught by you. And your reason for living is to catch me. What do you say? You're crazy. Then you shouldn't be at all surprised by what I'm doing. What are you waiting for? I shouldn't hesitate. Well, the power I have was given to me for a reason. Maybe for this one moment. I won't let myself be struck down. Show yourself. Show your true colors. I don't want to fight. Let me fly. Let me fly away. I can hear it again in the distance. It's clearer now. Ashley's emotions, her thoughts, are so vivid now that she's showing me her true form. She looks tough and prepared, but her thoughts are racing in all directions. Run away. Go home. She doesn't really want to fight me. Although she's prepared to fight, she's scared inside. Stay away! Leave me alone. Will she be able to sense my thoughts too once I change? How are we supposed to fight if we both sense each other's thoughts? I'll show myself. Let's see who's stronger. There you go. What took you so long? You didn't have to wait for me to change. You could have attacked any time. I gave you a chance. But don't think for a moment that I would have waited forever. I should have attacked him before he transformed. The chapel told me to drag you back if necessary. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. You're foolish. An angel's strength grows exponentially after the awakening. You don't stand a chance. Retreat while you can. Leave me alone. I can't do that, Ashley. I'm sorry. Please forgive me.